Hello everybody and welcome back. So let's continue in this diagram staple UE thing and make the changes. So we're gonna add some spaces here so they are not merged together and also add some noise so they kind of move a little bit. So back here we made, first we made this part here and that's the kind of basic Basic staples, I spell it wrong, staples. And here we have the percentage. So the next part we're gonna add is to make the spaces. And it's pretty straightforward. And what we need to do is to make um, tiling and offset. And we are just gonna use the red channel here and um, so this is from zero to one right and um, what we want we want we want to add a constant pi so it goes from zero to 3.14 and then we're actually going to multiply this with the amount of steps we have So now it's um, 10, so now it's here, it's from 0 to 1, and then we do 0, 3.14, and here it's 0 to 31.4, and then we just plug it into a sign, and we got these ones. And the reason we do the constant here is because we need to make sure we have the kind of waves correctly match up with the um, staples that we do here if we if we don't use this one we get a, a different value right a magic number we need to kind of figure it out here so that's why we use the pi and here we just do an absolute and this one we can uh, tweak a little bit with the smooth 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 step in and we can just decide how much space we want and as before we can just multiply this one in here Here you see, now we got the space, super nice. So you can change here if you want them to be weak or really sharp. So yeah, that's pretty easy to do that. And the last part, we're gonna add some noise. So these bars go up and down, like you have an engine where you get the UI from an engine or some other input and you want the bars to be moving so to have it a little bit more alive and we're gonna make that on the back here <clears throat> so it's actually gonna be here we're gonna do an add node and we're just gonna offset everything and the way we do this we have a tiling and offset and we're going to use the red channel. So we're going to floor this one. So now, now we have zero all the way. So if we do staples, uh, we could do this to make everybody understand what's going on. To make it in here like this. Because we only work with the red channel like this, right? And here we split it up and only work with the red one because of that we don't need to do this thing we can actually just plug it in like this uh, but it's more visual to do the other way around and um, well so here we got the staples are 10 so we got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 9 10 and the way we want to do this we just do uh simple noise 
we're going to have it in the UV. And we just add it in here. So now we actually offset the, this value, right? And you can see here we have different different values. So we can actually do an add here. And we just use it as a debug. So we can see what's happening here. So if we unplug it, you see this is the original result. And we offset it. So let's put a noise to it. So be before the floor, actually after the floor, of course, we do an add. And we do like this. And we can use the time node. And yeah, if we just add in the time, we actually offset this value here. And then the noise will give us different values. So this is pretty intense. We can actually lower it. So here we have one. So the more we higher the noise, the more they're going to move like crazy. So maybe this is like a engine reactor. I don't know, something like that. So you can just tweak it like this. Super nice. So this actually concludes it all. So try it out. We don't need this one more. And we're going to just make this one to be the noise. This is the noise part. So if we go back to the scene and yeah, we should save it. And here we have it. So maybe we will only want four bars. We can use it. And we have the percentage here. So this is nice. Uh, we can have the text to be down here. So one thing uh, that you notice is if I drag, actually, I, Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So if we drag, you see here, the numbers are 73, but maybe this is actually 60. So it actually shows wrong. And let's say we have 10 staples, right? So this is hundred percent. That's nice. Let's say we have three here, but we want it to be clamped, right? So then we could do actually clamp this value so it do uh, align with the staples amount and we just do it in the code so in here in the uh, this is the text right so here we have the integer value so we make a percentage that's from zero to one times hundred and uh, we got it to the text so this is super nice but what uh, we can do if we do math and we do the floor in here so now we um, change this to 10 so by doing this we will have the value to from 0 to 10 so this is um, Zero. So this should, should be 30 actually. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, okay. So this is zero. One, two, three. So we should do the ceiling instead, as you saw. And now, because the value is only from zero to 10, now we can do val times equal 10. And now it correlates with the bars. So of course, now we did, did the 10 thing, but if we have other 
values here. We need to change the code, but if we have 10 bars, this works. So now it's 0, 10%, 20, and 30. So that's how you do that. So thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it.